the frick is that? Oh, Asti, come here. Actually, do -do 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 -do. I've seen no heard. Oh, they should have seen. All right, they all look like enemies. I feel like they're going to attack me. Because it says ambushy. Yeah, like that's a reasonable thing to think, yes. Fuck him up. They're surprised. Now who's the ambusher? Coming through. Looks like the ambusher has become the ambushy. This is one of the most annoying fights ever. <laughs> In the game. There's one fight that is absolutely awful. <laughs> In this game that I hated so much. So, Actually, there's two more that I distinctly remember not enjoying, but this was the first fight that really was just like not it for me. These things are called measles, and they don't really do much other than just be annoying. In the Forgotten Realms lore, apparently they're just they're just awful, miserable creatures that hate everyone including themselves and like sure whatever <laughs> and, and there's like nothing not a single thing positive about them they're like yeah don't even try to be civil towards them so like if you see a, a baby one just abandon do not try to take it in just leave it to get eaten by coyotes or something is not worth it. <laughs> I'll be, I'm speeding things up instead of just doing the straight cuts. Hopefully that's a bit easier to watch and not as disjointed. Cause most of the time it's just me checking out the environment and trying to figure out what I'm gonna do next, plan things, how I'm gonna like do my attacks, can I set things on fire? Should I set things on fire? Stuff like that. And positioning. Yeah, I I decided to ambush them instead. And it helped that a little bit. You'll see... Oh, I missed on that one. But they're gonna keep trying to do that. And there it goes. It, the Garretted. And they just keep doing that. And it keeps you from using um, spells. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, and they're just gonna do that to every single person. Luckily, one of them's almost dead already. But they spend most of this fight not really doing like too much damage to us, just dragging the party members to different spaces. <laughs> Time to push my luck again. Oh, that shouldn't be as fun as it is. Yeah, Eldritch Blast solves everything. <laughs> it solves everything. The best reason to have Will along or to play a Warlock is Eldritch Blast. A powered up Eldritch Blast. You know, trying to stun them, do everything to get them to break what they're doing. And they seem somewhat powerful. Because they got like the higher health. They've got like pretty good decks. But all they really do is teleport around. Another day, another fight. And take your party members with them. 
So I'm just trying to whittle them down. Like, okay. We're all stuck together. I was able to break Shadow Heart free with the stun. And he saved Bonnie and Staring Strike. Unfortunate. Wounding way does a, a tiny, tiny bit of damage. Yeah, this is just, we're just whittling them down for the rest of this fight. I noticed as soon as we hit Act 2, the fights did pick up a bit. Things are more perilous here and they want to, to guess, show that. I think he just teleports. Shadow Heart somewhere. I'm like, okay. <laughs> that was weird. Teleport star over there. And that's it. <laughs> that's why it makes this fight so annoying. Just the constant teleporting around. And trying to figure out where my party members are. And basically having a bunch of 1v1s. Which we can handle. It's just, it take, makes the fight take so much longer. Yes, back to the, the Shadow Curse lands. They are definitely way more dangerous than the area that we were previously in, in Act 1. Even when you go into the Underdark, the Underdark is not that dangerous. They play up the Underdark because they're like, oh, it's perilous, there's trouble around every corner, oh, that's where like the drows and stuff be. And then you get to the Shadow Cursed Lands and it's just immediately bad. You walk outside and the darkness tries to kill you. Like, come on. <laughs> Far more of a problem than just some freaking Minotaurs wandering about. And I do my favorite thing, which is thunder waving and knocking people around. <laughs> because that solves a lot of problems in this game. Not now. They, they release patches in the game as of this time to make it so you cannot solve as many problems by just shoving dudes off of cliffs. And I'm like, wow, why would you why would best you do that? Way. Larian. That was the best part of this game. Was shoving people off of cliffs to instantly end fights. Except when it happens to you, then it's not so fun. <laughs> but when you can do it to the enemies, that's a good time. In right here, I'm debating like shoving them trying to shove them off. But I don't know if because they have like the the little imaginary rope if they're gonna if shadow hearts gonna like go off the cliff with them if like i knock them off so it's like a bit concerning so i just kind of knock them down slightly further hope for the best and the star again i'm not too worried about he can usually handle everything on his own. Doesn't hurt to throw in a troop strike though. I think I think it's the only time that I saw these creatures here. Because apparently there's different types of measles, and these are specifically the ones that can just teleport through darkness. And they just drag victims around. After they've got them, like, in their imaginary little rope. <laughs> and they, they have a curse they put on them that just attracts all the undead and horrible monsters of the Shadowfell to attack said person. And it lasts for, like, an hour, but usually the person doesn't last that long. They just, uh, they die beforehand. And, like... What is the point of that? And then I remember, oh, they're just terrible, awful creatures for no apparent reason. They're just bad because reasons. They're bad because they needed to be bad. They needed to be evil. <laughs> like, origin story, born hating. That's it. <laughs> this Diago is putting in work though. <laughs> Shove them into the acid. It's a load in a whole new area. That's how far they're getting teleported. Just all over the place. And 
And this fight lasts. This fight lasts for so long, too. And I sped some parts up. <laughs> but that was mostly my fault trying to figure out what to do. My fights get faster and faster as the game goes on and I start to get used to things. Oh, God! Oh, my God! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! That looks terrifying! Yeah, that's when I realize what happens when you use the, uh, the worm skills. You, like, you actually just float in the air with the, <laughs> with the Mind Flayer shadow above you and, like, red eyes. So, I'm like, ah. That's not good. Oh, well. That's an Asarion problem. We are perfectly fine. <laughs> Yeah, we just went through the whole situation after coming to the Shadow Curse lands. Harpers get attacked by the Shadow Peoples and stuff. And then we go like, oh, we're gonna go to the safe haven. We go to, to the last light and fight instantly starts when we talk to freaking Isabel. It's just... And then we get the bad end <laughs> and have to restart. We learn that there's a bunch of tieflings that we saved have gone missing. Freaking Raphael is back. Everyone's making deals with them left and right, at least the people we care about. So then it's a problem. And then now Roland's gone. Because if you stay, if you go there, and you sleep. If you take a long rest, you go back to the end, Roland's gone. After you talk to him to go look for his siblings with drunken conviction. And he's like, bro, you're gonna get marked too. To stay focused. So we gotta go find him. Maul got kidnapped in the fight and that happens like no matter what. Despite your best efforts. Uh. At least Everyone else survived the fight because everyone can die in that fight <laughs> too. Even if you technically win, everyone can still die if things go badly. But the main thing is protecting Isabel. And that's why I'm like, I'm gonna try and see what happens when I push them off. See if Astarion dies <laughs> instantly. <laughs> He doesn't! He's free now! Time to move. The the imaginary rope didn't take him down too. So that's good to know. If they teleport you to a ledge, just shoved him into the chasm. And the problem is solved. They don't take you with them. Just shove shove them on in. These things ain't that tough. They are rather big now. Now this DX gotta go find people to punch. She's punched all of the, the ones near her. We only had one left. And now the fight's finally oh. over. <laughs> that was rather annoying. What to do? Oh, enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Yes, I agree. You have anything good on you? Get some money. That's it. Do 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 do. We got nice experience though. Anything of use? Anything good in here? Ooh, there's a chest right there. Yeah, let's go send a Starion after that. I didn't know how else to get a Starion up here, so I just built him a little, like, box platform. <laughs> so he could get high enough to jump up. 
And this is the beginning of me learning that stacking furniture can solve many things after that last fight. Yeah. We did it. Should be easy. Miss Gloves. Hmm. Ilus Luna. Plain note. You remain protect those of us who would not turn from you, no matter the consequence in this short life. Keep those these artifacts of your devotion until it's such a time as we may openly infuse our spirits with your white light once more. Grant cunning to my brother, Helfred. In his efforts to conceal the rest of your relics, let the name Last Light not be important. Let your moon glow continue to forever and continue forever and fill our hearts. Ah. Investigate Lunet Medicines. Ah. Oh. Is that blood? No, never mind. That is blood. It's literally all over the place. Ready. Okay, we gotta go this way, yeah? What's this, though? I saw these before. They're like spectral torches. I'm not gonna touch them. But... Useful cordless. Lost backpack. What's in here? Don't like troops old cordless. Read. Day four. Scouting mission dispatched by Kethric Thorm to Shadowlands. Objective locate nest of absolute non believers. Reach outskirts of village. Disturbing sounds echo throughout the shadows. Must evade pursuit. Preparing to create a light barrier for protection against lurking monsters and deadly darkness. May the absolute guide me. Okay. I don't feel bad robbing your area now. There's nothing here. Okay. Go, go, go. What do you have on you? Do you have a taddy pole? I think that's where I want to go. Map. Yes, because... Nothing here. That's that whole area. This light, last light in. Need to go to the camp in the Shadow Curse Lands. But we need to get over here first. How do we get there? There's no way to get there from here, yeah? So we have to go down in that way. Yeah. I don't think that leads anywhere. It shows there's like a thing that's just, yeah, that's just a chasm. Now, even though the Shadow Curse lands are terrible and awful, I have to say this was probably the most fun to just explore around and investigate things. Like, I like- I'm in Act 3 at the time I'm doing this voiceover, but I still haven't completed it yet. But out of the Act 3 and Act 1, I think Act 2 was the most fun to just go around and explore and look at the environment. Because this place is, is just so interesting with everything that's going on. And there seems like there's a little bit of a sense of urgency mixed oh, in no. with the need for exploration. And I kind of like how that bounced out. A lot better in the, than they did in the other two acts. 
Because Act 3 is just go, 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 while Act 1 seems kind of slower paced. Look at this area. Why was there a trap here? In this random tower. And there's like a corpse in some chains around the chair. Look at that visual storytelling. Oh, Harper interrogation transcript. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. Official interrogation transcript Harper in charge, Caladov, Everspring. Transcriber Luna Shorn. Name Dahl, Dahl Timber. Occupation Farmer. Potatoes. A farmer. How many guards has Thor been stationed at South Wall? Dahl Timber. What do you mean, South Wall? You don't play the fool with me, Timber. Moonrise South Wall. I don't know, I swear. Liar. Write this down, Luna. Thorm spies refuse to operate. Harsh measures required. I said write it down. Can we take this? Just in case. Yeah, more so than in other areas. It's like every piece of notes or things you see around and items you pick up add to your overall understanding of what happened here because this is the aftermath of a disaster unfolding. All the other situations you're kind of like pre-disaster so you can do something to kind of change the situation. You, you just ro roll up in here and everything's foobar. I think that's what makes it so interesting. It's almost like in the Fallout games. I love exploring those because it's after like the whole disaster happens and you're just investigating the aftermath and seeing what happened and trying to uncover clues and survive. Invisibility is cool. That's a situational thing. Plastic band has been helping. Like, you could keep that ring on you. But you said you have this whole thing for like being obscure, obscured in shadow. Let's just keep adding to your bonuses. Never a dull moment. This is a bad idea. We're like beyond screwed. If Asarion decides, nah. Very well. Not gonna help you anymore. <laughs> if he goes rogue, as is Rogue B, it's gonna be a bad time. So something happened and my recording crashed, but luckily I re like realized it very quickly. So not much occurred in between here and now, but I am in a different position. There's also a somewhat familiar voice screaming for help in the distance. So let's investigate the spooky graveyard and help. Arabella! <sighs> Baby girl! I know you. You're. I know you. Oh no. Crack. <laughs> what was that? Isn't that Arabella, the little girl Corgan nearly killed? Sorry. Knocks the wind right out of me. Small baby, what? How did you learn to do that? That druid idol I took, it changed me. I can do all sorts of stuff now, not just the vines. I think real hard and say some loud words, and then it happens, mostly. Good job, kiddo. Maybe teach me those powers now. What the frick are you doing out here? It is very not safe. How did you even... how? I was looking for Mum and Pops. When Zevlor... when he... well... there was an ambush. Mum yelled, run! So we ran. I could hear him run behind me. Till I couldn't. Still can't find him. But I bet you can. You'll help me, I just know it. Of course I will. 
I course I'll help you, small teepee kid. Thanks, miss. I knew you'd help me again. The vines won't last forever. I don't... I don't suppose I can stay with you. Just till you find Mum and Pops. I won't be any trouble, I swear it. Of course you can. Should I send her to camp? Or send her to Last Light? I feel like she'll be safer at my camp. I'm gonna send her to camp because I'm not gonna trust her to walk all the way back to la last light by herself. I'm gonna stay in my camp. I feel like the camp is closer. Oh, thanks. You're the best. So yeah. you send mom and pops there. I'll be waiting, hero lady. Bye, Arabella. Ah. Will is also inspired because I helped her. I help her. We got XP. Can we kill that? Let's kill these. Weave bound. May the gods take you first. Yeah, let's go kill them so we don't have to deal with it later. They're like trapped right now. Delicious. Sick. And we're not gonna... Yeah, we're not gonna leave these things alive. That's all favors the fearless. I found my mark. Can't give up now. You sense a swell of grief. Before the shadows took her, this woman mourned someone lost in battle. I hope we don't find, like, kill these, some of these, and it's like Arabella's parents. I would much not, I'd much rather that didn't happen. You sense a matriarch's flush of pride. So she will soon be a grandmother, How do do this and the day? child will bear her name, Muldred. Why, sorry, on or fine. I don't want to take too many rests. Where on earth would Tiffy Baby's parents be? God, we saw that. Okay, that's way up there. Well, they might be at the end place. Or the healing house. There's a good chance they're at the healing house. Here, Thorn Mausoleum. South, Central Square. Hello, beautiful. Nah. Oh, wait, you got things to say? Ask, do you have things to say? You have things to say now. Let's see. Character sheets. Ba -ba. 68. Cool. 75 for Miss J. 81 with the sorry on Jesus. Let's uh, give you those for now. Yeah, now you're looking very knightly. Another step forward. Oh, we all look so cool. Let's go. What happens if we uh, read the tombstones? Here lies faithful Jamie, the love of all our lives. Died loudly. He robs Tristan from with Philander Wicker sues for a husband. May he the crows use this marker as privy. Oh dang. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. Okay, it was just a skeleton. 